Welcome, today we're going to be creating a fantasy cottage themed bedroom and you'll be shocked exactly how easy this is to do and how much fun you can have getting creative. So you don't have to be really technically skilled to be able to do something like this. First thing we're going to do is use Mid Journey, which is artificial intelligence to create some completely original fantasy themed pictures. I recommend creating your pictures, typing in your prompt, and telling it that you want your pictures in the style of a Leonardo da Vinci painting. You're going to love what you get. Because these are completely original, you're welcome to have these printed anywhere. I use Snapfish just because I really like the quality that I get from them, and I recommend ordering your pictures in matte, not glossy. You can still do this with a glossy photo, but I think it looks better in matte. Next you're going to get some Mod Podge. I went for the 16 ounce, I'm going to link it down in the description to where you can get it as well as some other tools that you might need for this project. I found that the 16 ounce was the perfect size, gave me enough of the material to paint on for a lot of pictures and I still have a little bit left over. After I got my pictures I headed over to Goodwill and bought some picture frames. Really they were selling the pictures but I wanted the frames so I found that the prices were amazing. You just look for really old looking picture frames in either gold, bronze, or dark brown. I'm also going to be using these command strips to hang up the picture frames in case I ever want to take them off without damaging my walls. They hold up to 12 pounds so they're going to work perfect for this. First we're going to paint a layer of Mod Podge over our picture and you want to make sure that this is just a base layer so don't leave a lot of the Mod Podge in one area or you'll find that you have these like bubbles up here once it dries. You don't want that so just make sure it's kind of a thin layer and you can do it in any direction. You can even do this straight if you want to but I find that doing it in the various directions kind of gives it a cool base layer undertone once we get into the next part. After it dries, it usually takes about 15-20 minutes, you're going to paint another layer and I like to use a smaller brush for this and actually try to paint as if I were painting the picture. So go in the direction of the shapes. You're going to see when you look at it in the light certain ways how cool it looks. That's pretty much it for the pictures. Let's look at the reveal of the room. Some other things that I've done are hang some fake ivy in the corner using some command strips as well. These are smaller ones. I'm going to link all this stuff so don't stress. Just check out the video description to get all this. I did also create a moss picture frame which is totally optional but you just basically glue moss onto a piece of cardboard or something and put it in a nice looking frame. I love it. It re turned out really cool as the centerpiece. Next I added some candles to not only make the room smell good, they don't have to be lit because once you've got a couple candles together you can kind of smell that. A pillow which I found at Walmart and this beautiful blanket that I just put over top of the gray bed to give it a more fantasy kind of cottage feel. I'm going to link the blanket in the description too because it was crazy how affordable it was. Next I added a lot of knickknacks and accessories to help build out the story that I'm wanting to tell and I think it came together really nicely. What's cool about this is you can really throw together a lot of fun things that you've gotten maybe through travel or that you found at flea markets or secondhand shops. Really old books are perfect for this type of thing. The story I'm wanting to tell is about these two elves which are pictured on the wall here 
and they are honey farmers. So the other pictures you see are from their travels, but there's a little jar of honey candy. I just got the jar at Hobby Lobby. So again, you can kind of put things together that you find various places. And I put some honey candy in there so that my guests can feel more a part of the story. I also have a Google Nest hidden behind these books so that I can play cool fantasy themed music as my guests enter the room. I love how this turned out. Hopefully you do too. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you going to try something like this? It was tons of fun. Not very expensive at all. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more content like it. Subscribe if you haven't already because you're definitely welcome here. And I'll see you guys later.